let me help y'all because some of y'all like you just logged on to this live and you're like what in the world like she come on on 10 but if you knew like i know and if you heard what i heard you know what i'm saying it's a whole nother level but somebody i just feel that right now in the name of jesus expect the call expect the call the call is coming the call is coming in the name of jesus listen I ain't on here trying to be cute. I'm trying to give somebody a word right now, you know, and this word is for those of you who are like, you know, what in the world is going on? And so father speaks to me in different ways. And, you know, sometimes it's through the circumstances with life and whatever and things going on. And, you know, a lot of the times, you know, prophets and, and stuff like that, like their life told a story, their life was father's message and stuff like that. So, um, I had three appointments and a training and all of them were canceled today. Like, but to be continued, like postponed, can we reschedule? And I just wanted to hop on here today. Not one, not two, not, th and, and something when the first one happened, the first one that got canceled was the one that was for the last appointment for the evening. And then they just started <laughs> canceling throughout the day. And I'm like, what the world is good? Like, and I just expected like, is all of them going to be canceled? And some of you feel like it's not just one thing. It's multiple things. Like what in the world is going on? It's like this and this and this. And, um, and he wanted me to come on here and just encourage somebody today. Hey, Lady Lawanda, I love you. And it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad that it got canceled because when you realize that your life is not your own, when you realize that your schedule, come on, somebody has not gone to plan, but it, it's not about you. You know what I'm saying? My life is not my own. My life belongs to him. And so when things are happening that are outside of my control, right, and they might not be according to the schedule, I thought, you know, I have to realize that he is the one that controls it all. And he knows what should be and what shall be and when it shall be and when the time is right. He knows. He knows the way that we take. Like, I'm saying, he knows. He's God. He's creator of the universe. And so when I don't take it personal and so this is for somebody today because you are like literally feeling the type of way you might be feeling like you're driving yourself crazy because you're trying to figure out like why what happened like really what's going on why ain't it happening the way that i thought it was gonna happen listen hey lady stephanie s says i love you woman of god i so appreciate everything that you do for the ministry and everything that father is doing in your life i just wanted to encourage somebody to know in the name of jesus that though it seems like things were canceled they're not canceled they've just been rescheduled father is saying they are still on schedule and not only are they still on the schedule not only are they still on the calendar but they're still hallelujah going to be on schedule it's still happening within the time that he has so desired for you and for your life according to the time of life bye bye show happy birthday to you lady pamela some of you are like you know god what is going on you're like father what is going like what am i supposed to do now how is this supposed to work but i want to release this to somebody because i feel this in my spirit you've been waiting you've been trying to figure it out and i feel like a hannah right now is bubbling in my spirit because some of you are so you know either you've been so bombarded and you've been trying to play nice and make it do what it do and then there are others of you you just you you've already hit that point where other people were making fun of this that and the other and you but but you've been in that place of crying out and then there's some things that you know you were tried to be appeased or people who tried to appease you you know hannah's husband you know elkanah he was like listen aren't i better than you to better than you than 10 sons and it's like baby you great but you know it's just something like you don't even understand like this right here what i'm waiting on this right here what i'm working on this right here what i'm trying to figure out this right here what i'm trying to understand this this is beyond me listen to the book and and not only beyond me, but it's beyond you. And so listen, and there were things that her, her womb was barren and there are some places in your life and you feel like you're experiencing barrenness. Like, why can't I? Like, when is it going to happen for me? In 1 Samuel chapter number one, but she found herself at the temple. And
and listen. We ain't in church, but this is one of my sanctuaries right in here. Listen, this is one of the temples for me. And so when I find myself in this place and I'm calling on him, in the name of Jesus, and people looking at you, you feeling the type of way your own self. And, and I'm about to close this real quick. Listen, and, and but I hear the father saying, I have heard you. I know they think that you're crazy. Like the, the, the priest was like, yo, <laughs> girl, what you, what you been on? Like what, what you done had? And some people, you know, they're like, why do you even, why are you even tripping? Da, 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 whatever, whatever. But some things is not between me and you. This is between me and him because he made me a promise. He made me a promise. And, and some of you, your womb was not barren because you're cursed. It was not feeling like it's barren because you're so bad or you're so wrong but what's going on is there was a such a time as now that it was necessary it wasn't necessary then and so that's why he says i know it feels like it was canceled it feels like it was postponed but he is saying it is on schedule it is on my schedule come on somebody because it was necessary that samuel was able to anoint not only saul israel's first king but also to anoint david listen how that bashoto he had a timing and there are things that you've been waiting on that promise you've been waiting and it was for such a time as is now as is coming so it has not been canceled it's literally hallelujah just been rescheduled but it's still on it still shall be on schedule it's still within that timing and so he wants me to release this to somebody now According to First Samuel chapter number one, Hallelujah! In the double coma, see man the bando como de 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 a sandia con ama si bi kando de ba se de 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 ba shoto ha ba soto ma kando de de ba si an de 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 ba she de 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 ma kando ra si ke ha ba soto ma kono ama si kan de 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 ba kono ama de 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 ba shoto de de ba kando de de ba si tara o bo so de 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 ba kono si de 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 ba ande ha ba soto ma kando de de ba si an de 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 ba kono si ti de de ne ma kando de ma si kam ya mo so the word of the Lord says this hallelujah in, in, in verse number 15 and some of you feel like and Hannah answered and said no my Lord I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit and I've been feeling like some of you have been heavy you've been sorrowful then she said I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink but have poured out my soul before the Lord and the father is saying to tell you that he heard your cry and it, it, it says count not thine handmaiden for a daughter of Belial for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Hallelujah. But the Father has heard you. It says in verse 17, then Eli, then the priest, hallelujah, our high priest, the Lord Jesus Christ answered and said, go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. I want to announce this to somebody, hallelujah, that the Father is granting your petition in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and and and, and, and so the the petition that thou hast asked of him, and she said, "Let thine hand my, may find grace in thy sight." So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. The father wants you to go ahead and eat and let your countenance be no more sad. I was literally on a fast today, and I thought I was gonna keep fasting. Listen, and he said, "No, no, daughter, because there were some things I was pressing in about." He said, "No, I want you to go get you another one," and and so I'm like, "Okay, yo." daddy okay you know what and so normally i'll get a call he said no i want you to treat yourself i want this one to be different i want this one to be special because you can't leave here with your countenance no more sad somebody needs to hear that and they rose up in the morning early worship before the lord and returned and came to their house in ramah and elkanah knew hannah his wife and the lord remembered her i am trying to tell you it's time for you to worship it's time for you to eat and be no more sad there's some people they gonna know you they gonna recognize you in jesus mighty name hallelujah and they are going to come to know you into the knowing of you and the lord has going to remember you the lord it said the lord remembered her in past tense in other words he's already done it he's already remembered in the name of jesus hallelujah and she ended it said and when the time came for her to conceive and your time is coming for that thing that you've been praying for that, that thing you've been believing for in the name of jesus 
Hallelujah. And it said when it did that, that she named him Sam because she had asked him of the Lord. And the father is saying, hallelujah, this going to come to you because you asked me. This is coming because you asked me. This is coming, hallelujah, because you called upon me, because you prayed to me, because you trusted in me. Hallelujah. And it will be on schedule in the name of Jesus. Listen, I love you all. I'm grateful for you. It's not been canceled. It's still on schedule. It's still going to happen as he said it was going to happen. Part of this was just process, which was preparing you for promise and for your fulfillment in Jesus name. You shall walk in it. You shall rest in it in the name of Jesus and it shall be worth the wait in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lady Lawanda, it's a done deal in Jesus mighty name. So when things happen in life, don't trip, don't be upset because he controls your life. It's all up to him and he knows what's best and he knows the proper time. And yes, absolutely, woman, it's already done. It's already done. In the name of Jesus, it's signed, sealed, delivered, it's yours. He was just waiting for you to get to that place that you would ask him for what you desire, knowing that once you do that, you will keep your vow once you get there. You will keep your promise when it happens in the name of Jesus. So listen, I love you all. We're going to pray real quick and I'm going to release the rest of this song, I guess. Um, Hallelujah. But if you feel led to, you can sow into this word at paypal.me forward slash Lady Jeremy of Venmo, Lady Jeremy, a cash app is dollar sign in mana one on YouTube. I'll put it in the comments. But uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just feel like I got to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless you right now. I thank you that you are the divine orchestrator of all things. I bless you that you are faithful, that promise. I thank you, Father, that you are moving, you are working, you are shifting. I bless you right now. Hallelujah. That you have heard your people you have heard their cries you have heard their petitions hallelujah and you said you have granted them their petition in the name of jesus and so they can leave with their countenance no more sad able to worship because we already know that it's already in the works and it's a, already a done deal signed sealed delivered it's theirs in jesus mighty name father i thank you that you have remembered them you have remembered them you have seen every here. You have seen every sleepless night. You have seen every every time they called upon the name of the Lord. You have seen every sacrifice. You have seen, you've heard every vow. And so, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just bless you right now for supernatural release, supernatural divine intervention in Jesus' mighty name. And I give you glory for it all. And we thank you, Father, as we call it done in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you that it's all going to be what worth the wait in the name of Jesus. Kabasutomasi kendi asabashoto. 